So this is an extremely random video for me, but a lot of people on my channel watch Casey Neistat and they enjoy Casey Neistat and they always ask me my opinion on everything that's going on with him. And I just read an article about what he's doing now that he is no longer daily vlogging. There's a lot of articles you can read about this. The New York Times, The Verge, The Wall Street Journal, Variety, a lot of people who are talking about what he's doing. Now a giant media company is investing in Casey Neistat and the audience that he has now currently. <laughs> the giant company is CNN. On Monday, CNN announced that they were acquiring Beam and all the technology behind it and the entire staff for $25 million. If you don't know how much that is, that's $25 million dollars. So CNN is actually shutting down Beam because they want Casey Neistat to use his giant brain and his audience to build something new, a new startup company through CNN or as an extension of CNN. Of course it's really smart for media to invest in the internet reach, the one that Casey Neistat has, which is way different than the one that TV has. He actually pretty much has an audience that primarily doesn't watch CNN, so this investment is super huge for CNN. According to the New York Times, NBC Universal recently invested $200 million in BuzzFeed and also put $200 million into Vox Media. So obviously all these big companies are putting a lot of money in people like Casey Neistat and the things that YouTube does. So uh, where's my check? So I think the point of all of this is to form a trust with the audience again because when it comes to traditional news and media, people are skeptical. I mean, I never watch the news and, and think for a second that they're telling the truth because I know what they have to do is keep the ratings up and keep people watching so they'll lie and they'll say whatever they want. And Casey Neistat, when it comes to YouTube, we don't have as much at risk so we can tell the truth even though of course a lot of people lie and exaggerate things. But a much larger portion of the viewers on YouTube trust the content creators. And I don't know what they're going to do. I'm super interested in to see how he's going to connect that and how he's going to bring in an audience because I think when you're working in traditional media as well, it's going to seem like a lot of people aren't going to trust what you're doing, so I think. Uh, About to get kicked out. I see you taking pictures of the place. Or was that what I wasn't out of the place. Oh. I was just by myself. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Okay. So I'd love to know your opinion on the situation. Of course, my personal opinion is. $25 million, I mean, come on, yo, yo. And I think Casey Neistat, for the most part, he's just a smart businessman. He he makes great investments for his team and for his future. And there's a lot of people whose job's right on this. The whole Beam Squad, they're gonna make money. And, and I think he's looking out for the players. But at the same time, I understand that a lot of people might think he's like greedy and all this crazy stuff. But So just let me know your opinion. I mean, it seems like he's trying to take the biggest, the bigger steps into doing more important work that overall reaches a bigger audience. But that's just my perspective. Love to hear yours. Thank you for watching. Um, I do videos every single day. This video is actually really, really random and weird for me. So thanks a lot. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Sorry, they called me. They said that you cannot make any news and okay. property. That's fine. Okay, they call the area. Cool. Okay, okay, yeah, no problem at all.